I'm attending an office meeting with people I don't know. I'm a little nervous. To be perfectly honest. I am not used to meeting people without prior introduction. I have never met these people, and I wasn't even introduced to them. I've been asked to attend the meeting in order to talk about my ideas and give my opinion on the ideas of others in the meeting. I'm concerned people won't listen to my ideas or that they won't like them. Or make fun of them. And of me. Actually, I'm terrified. A lot is hanging on this meeting. My performance is going to give people the first impression of me. And first impressions are so important. People judge you right away from the first minute they lay eyes on you. Or hear your voice. Not many people take the time to get to know me. Everyone is inundated with vast amounts of information nowadays, so much that they don't have the time to explore new things. There's so much virtual information out there that the need to get to know real people gets lost in the shuffle. And that scares me. I'm sure that if people took the time to get to know others, they will find that there's more than what meets the eye. I guess everyone's the same. Everyone is scared to meet new people. Okay. Maybe not everyone. Some folks are just comfortable anywhere. But most people are nervous about meeting new people, about making the right impression, about spilling coffee on the client's laptop. I mean, the things that go through my mind before meeting new people, especially if those unknown people could have an effect on your life. And even though I represent the office and not just myself, I know that being myself is the most confident step I can take when I walk into the conference room. I am my positive self. I am my affirmative self. I am my understanding self. I am my caring self. I am my loving self. I am making a concerted effort to think positive thoughts and have good feelings about these people. These people could certainly be new friends. Why not? I'm always open to new friendships. The more the merrier. I think positive thoughts and feel good feelings about my potential new friends. I hope they are successful in conveying their ideas. I root for them to show their best sides and express themselves freely and confidently. I wish for them health, happiness and prosperity and success as they see it. I imagine the best for them, and I hope they get what they want. And I know we're so accustomed to working from home or our small offices with the door shut that we don't really get to transact personally with others anymore. So I don't get much practice to meet new people. But that's okay. We're all in the same boat. And so I guess I have the same problem. It's a challenge to reach out and express my true feelings. I'm not sure what to say about other people's ideas. I want to express my feelings directly and professionally, but I don't want to come off rude. But I also want to be honest. I want to give constructive opinions. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll first point out the positive aspect of their ideas and only then speak to their weaknesses. My feedback will be honestly balanced. My opinions are educated and accepted in the meeting as I had wished to express them, honestly, politely, balanced, and with integrity. I wish the best for the people at the meeting, and I know they wish the best for me. This is not a competition to get somewhere first, but a united team effort to come up with the best ideas that provide optimal value for humanity. I silently thank the people at the meeting from my heart to their hearts. I am grateful to meet new people. I appreciate contributing to a think tank of talented individuals. Thank you for this wonderful new opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.